numbers on this lab that most with cancer, it's a shock. So the very first thing you may, may start thinking is, what, this doesn't make sense. I don't feel sick enough to have cancer. And because, you know, last Tuesday before I went to the doctor, I didn't have cancer. Now all of a sudden this Tuesday I do because the numbers on this lab came up elevated. So there's a part of denial and it's not denial that you're not believing your doctor, but it's just unbelievable. Usually when you get past that kind of shock, the initial shock, you may feel angry. You may think, you know, why me? Why now? And you may even think about other people that maybe don't take as good of care of their body as they should. Uh, why is this happening to your family? You know, you've done everything that you can. Why me? Why now? After the anger period, there's usually a bargaining. And this is where people may go doctor shopping, maybe get a second opinion, or maybe even bargain with God. You know, there's this, it's, it's a time of, of feeling vulnerable and scared. You know, you, you can't stay in denial, you can't stay mad, so now you've got to figure, it a way, figure out a way, and that's usually when treatment starts, is when you're in the bargaining um, phase. After that, you're usually in treatment. By then, you have found a bargain, you have found a doctor, and so the next part will be sad, sadness, where you are actually going through the treatment and you're feeling all of the side effects of the treatment, whether you're losing your hair, you're losing your job, your financial status. It's when all of the life changes really start to settle in and there's just that sadness. Usually after you get past the sadness, there's a period of acceptance. And a lot of people think, well, if I just get to acceptance, then I've somehow reached the end. But I disagree because I believe that as human beings, we can come to accept just about anything, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're happy or that it's, that it's meaningful. And so I think that the important piece of going through this treatment is finding meaningfulness. So be kind to yourself if you are in denial or if you're angry one day or you're maybe bargaining or afraid to do, uh, do treatment because when you go through all of this, understand and trust that there will be meaningfulness to you from this. And I think that's important. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.